One of the most challenging aspects of purchasing is to determine the best forecast of future demand. In most cases, to understand the future, we must understand the past. First, let's review definitions. Sales is what we actually shipped to the customer. Promotions are one-time sales that should not be used in future forecasts. Lost sales are items ordered by the customer but not shipped. The combination of sales plus lost sales less any one-time promotions equals our demand. The system uses this historical demand and builds a forecast of future demand. At the end of every forecast period, the future demand forecast is updated based on the latest available information. The system applies a demand variability factor to more effectively respond to unusual changes. A low variability skew with a sudden sales spike would be viewed by the system as more likely to be an exception and have less reaction in the next forecast. A skew with a high variability factor would have a much more reactive forecast to new data. SKUs that sell intermittently also will have a demand frequency calculation as part of their forecast to accurately account for the weeks when we sell zero cases. Once the new demand data is added to the forecast and the variability factor is applied, the system will review if the change is outside a reasonable range based on standard deviation calculations. If it is outside the range, the system will limit or clamp extreme changes to prevent system overreactions without additional manual intervention. This will also create exceptions for user review, which will be covered in future training. The last part of the basic forecast calculations are profiles. Seasonal profiles look at at least two years of history to identify trends that repeat each year. The differences from average identified in the profile are then applied to current demand for a more accurate forecast. There are also day of the week profiles available for SKUs that consistently sell more on certain days of the week. Seasonal profiles will still need your review. They are only as good as past history. Weather variability, significant customer changes, timing differences or trends different from history may not be accounted for by profiles without manual intervention. It is always the user's responsibility to review and determine if the demand history and the resulting forecasts are accurate and appropriate.